Bob Kaplitz is standing by with the live eye unit at the site where the funeral is to take place soon in Miami Beach. Bob? Dell, members of Schwartz's immediate family are now inside the Riverside Funeral Chapel, which is surrounded by newsmen, and uh, there are a number of police officers here, too. The family arrived about an hour ago in a limousine and entered through a rear door. From what we could tell, the family members included Schwartz's wife, mother, son, and daughter. Schwartz's stepfather, reputed mobster Meyer Lansky, arrived about a minute later, and he walked into the front door. He had no comment for newsmen. A spokesman for the Riverside Funeral Chapel says the services are private and that no information is being given out. At this point, more than a dozen relatives and friends are inside the funeral home. Many of the people refused to identify themselves to us as they walked in. Schwartz was shot to death on Wednesday in Bay Harbor Islands. He was fired at from close range as he arrived at the inside restaurant, which he owned. Schwartz was free on an $80,000 bond awaiting trial next month on a first-degree murder charge. He was accused of shooting golf pro Craig Teriyaka to death last June. Craig's father, Vincent, was under investigation by the last statewide grand jury on organized crime and gambling. Police say the motive for Schwartz's murder may have been revenge, but they're not sure. And they say at this point they have no firm leads. Right now, services are apparently underway. Later today, the body will be taken from here and flown to New York City, where it will be buried. And family members say it will be buried in private. Bob Kaplitz, Channel 4 News, reporting live from Miami Beach. The services were held in private at the Riverside Funeral Chapel on Alton Road in Miami Beach. Members of Schwartz's family were the first to arrive. They came in a limousine, which took them to a back door. They included Schwartz's son, son-in-law, and two daughters. Photographers were kept at a distance. About a minute later, Schwartz's stepfather arrived. Meyer Lansky is reputed to be the most powerful organized crime figure in the world. In Lansky style, he came to the front door. Lansky asked the funeral parlor for tight security, and he got it. Guards were posted on the roof. As family and friends arrived, Miami Beach police officers tried to keep a low profile. Schwartz was charged with the first-degree murder of golf pro Craig Teriaka, whose family is allegedly connected with organized crime. And police say Schwartz may have been killed in retaliation for that murder. Authorities were concerned there might be more violence at the funeral. There wasn't. The people who attended the services were not a who's who of organized crime. Undercover intelligence agents with Metro's Organized Crime Bureau say that if any mobsters were there, the Bureau could not readily identify them. Agents say that may be because underworld figures want to avoid the limelight and will pay their respects privately. The services lasted about an hour. Then Lansky and the family members left in a limousine. They are expected to fly to New York City where Schwartz is to be buried. Details are being kept secret. Ironically, it's the secrecy that shrouded Schwartz's life and now his death that's making it difficult for police to retrace his last hours to find out who killed him. Bob Kaplitz, Channel 4 News, Miami Beach.